Hello everyone, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video, we are going to talk about how to fix. Limbo's company is crashing at startup, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, stuck on loading screen, low FPS drop and even black screen. How we can fix these kind of issues? So let's move to the workaround. So the first step is all about, we have to restart the PC and that is what we have to do. For restarting the PC, which is a very simple step, we can go over here, click on this one, go for a restart. After restart is done, go to the Steam and try to play the game and that might work. So this is a, just a beginner step which you have to try out. Next one is all about, we have to verify integrity of game file. For that reason, we have to go over here on the game, right click and go to properties, go to local file. Over here, click on verify integrity of game file. So when you click on this, what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So this is an important step. So if any files are having any trouble as well as if any files are completely corrupted, which cause these kind of issues, which I mentioned above. So just do this. And once the verify integrity of game file is done, just try to play the game. And if that is not working, we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So that can be done. So over here, just click on this. We have two methods to navigate to the installation folder. One is from easily from the Steam using a shortcut. Another one is via File Explorer. So I'll show you both the things. But keep in mind, we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using File Explorer because down the road, we need to know it as a mandatory. So I'm going to show you both. So first one, right click, go to properties, go to, uh, sorry, go to local file. Click on browse. When you click on this, you are redirected to this particular path. That is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Limbus company. Over here, you have to launch the game. So try launching the game from the installation folder. This is what you have to do. So this, you can navigate to this particular path within a shortcut, not shortcut, but just from Steam very easily. And you can do this up. Next one, how to navigate to the installation folder using File Explorer. So just open File Explorer, navigate to this PC. So every game which I download from the Steam by default will be in the local disk. So I have to open this, scroll down and navigate to program file x86, scroll down and navigate to uh, Steam folder, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to Limbus company. Now from here, we have to launch the game. This is what we have to do. So try launching the game from installation folder and that it helped a few users so you can try this as well. Next one is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. So hence we can do it in the same place. So just navigate to the installation folder, then right click and go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility. And over here, as you can see, there is an option called run this program as an administrator. So just click on this one, apply and go for OK and see whether that's going to fix the issue. Even if it's done with this, we have to move to the next step. That is all about. We have to make a few changes. This is actually an additional step which you can try out. If it's working, you're fine with it. But if it's not working, just, uh, you know, just follow the instruction. Click over here, go to properties. Navigate to compatibility. Over here, there is an option called disable full screen optimization. So go for disable full screen optimization. Go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. So for some users, when they did this, the issue became more severe. So if that is happening for you as well, then I request you can cancel this. That means uncheck this. Okay. And also do not forget to run the, game in, uh, run the game in the compatibility mode. So click on this one and set this to Windows 8 as well or Windows, Windows 7 or Windows 8. Try for this. But even this also happened in this way. For some users, this worked, but some users it does not. So I'm not recommending you can try this as an additional step. So if that is not working, just keep the same only Check run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we have to try with uh, launching the game using Alt and Tab. So just click on the play button, then press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So when you do this, for some users, you know, when they have crashing issue, they tried this. They just click on the play button and they press Alt and Tab. They very easily without any issue taken to the game. So you can try this as well. And this did work it for a few users and you can try this out. And this is what you have to do as well. Next one is all about change the language to English. I don't know how it is related, but it worked. So for that, go over here in the settings, 
go to time and language select language over here as you can see i have to geographically set everything that is my i am from india so i have to select india and i am using english which is my uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm very comfortable with English. So if you are from any other countries, do the same. You can select your appropriate country. And if you're using any other languages, select native language from here. We have options for Arabic, even Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, all kind of languages are available. So just go for the same and you can try this out. And this is what you have to do as well. Right. So try this by changing the language and geo geographical area. Once it is done, just go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about delete the saved game file. For that, we have to go over here in the file explorer. Go to documents. Over here, if you find the folder on Limbus company, then just delete it. Keep in mind, you will be losing everything you saved, but it is fine. This did work it, so you can try this out. This did work it when many users tried this for Dead Space, Hogwarts Legacy, and even for in many other games, this all helped them. So you can try this out. Uh, you can try this as well. Next one is all about allow the game to windows security for that reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel go to windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall over here you have to scroll down and navigate to limbus company keep scrolling down so if you find limbus company over here by default it will be there so as you can see limbus company and uh, follow up it is private and public should be checked so imagine if it is not there so what happens we need to add it by manually so that is why i said we should be knowing where the game is installed because if you wanted to add we need to know the installation path so just click on allow another app go for browse now go to this pc navigate to local disk c scroll down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder over here click on steam apps go for common now from here go to limbus company and over here you have to select the application that is limbus company and add it so if i click on add i'll be getting error because it's already added that is why the message said so once it is added just close everything now go back to the steam try to play the game as well next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so over here some users has a habit of playing the game with the controllers some play with computer keyboard itself but some depends on controllers some play the game with multiple monitors and this is also quite habit but sometimes when the usb uh, you know the usb devices are completely filled your computer when it's all connected and you're trying to play that causes the issue for crashing and all those things so what i recommend you is just remove everything from the usb devices unplug everything from the usb devices once it is done just play the game once the game is launched successfully, just connect it back and try to play or continue the game that will be helping guys out. This did work for many users and I found this solution in the Steam community forum where many people mentioned this as well as in the Reddit also they mentioned. And for many users this did work so that is why I recommend you can try this out for sure and that is going to fix the issue as well. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot. For that we have to go over here in the search, go to system configuration. Go for services. Over here, there is an option called uh, hide all Microsoft services. Just click on this one. So here it is grayed out for me, but this will not be the same for you. Just click on disable all. Once you click on disable all and go for apply, it will ask you for a restarting the PC. If the restarting PC is asked, just restart your PC. After PC is successfully restarted, just go back to the Steam and try to play the game. And this is an important step which you can try out. Next one is all about we have to update graphics card manually. For that, I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. So NVIDIA users just go out to this page. I mean, uh, just click on the link in the description that will take you to this and go for drivers. So AMD users, they, they can go the same as well. So over here, you have to select everything that is your product type, product series, product, operating system, download type, language, etc. So select Windows 11. Okay, just give every details over here. Once you're given every details, just go for start search. Okay, now we have to select the version as 531.8. And this is the new newest version, I think. Okay, that is on the 28th. That is today. No, not today, yesterday. And it is released on February 28th. So this is the latest version that is 531.8. 
So the file size is around this one and uh, which is for uh, Windows 11 64 bit. So download this one, download and install this one. After this is successfully done, just try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. So the AMD users, this, just go to this page, select graphics, everything should be selected and go for submit. Once you select everything, you'll be getting page where you can download Windows 11 64 bit edition, Windows 10 64 bit edition. So if you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can download this one. So download and install. After this is successfully done, just try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we have to install Microsoft Visual C++. So this is a great step and this did work it for a few users. So just go to your Google Chrome and you can search for Microsoft, sorry, you can search for Microsoft Visual C++. Just download this one. Now from here, as you can see, you will be getting to this page. So I'll be providing the correct link in the description so you don't have to worry. Once you go for this, you are getting two options for x86 as well as x64. So what you have to do is just have to go over here, go to settings. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to about. And we need to know what is our system type. So some users end up in downloading the wrong one. So make sure you should be knowing what is your system type. So here my system type is 64-bit operating system. So just go for 64-bit based processor. Once it is done, we just have to go back. Now go back to the link and here I am on 64-bit. So I have to download this one. So if you're on 86, you have to download this one. So just download this, uh, this one, that is 64-bit. Once you download this one, just close everything and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we have to disable the Steam Overlay and Overclocking application. So disabling the Steam Overlay, click over here, go to Properties, under, un, under General, make sure the Enable the Steam Overlay should be unchecked. So just do this and try to play the game. So regarding the closing overclocking application, there are many applications which drain out our performance. So I'll show you, just go over here in the start, go to Task Manager. If you go over here, you can see that there are a few things which is running in the background, which I'm using actually apps under which are I'm currently using, but there are 84 apps which is running in the background. So all these apps drain out a lot of my performance and that is causing the issue for crashing, not launching, won't launch, etc. issues which is happening. So because they use, they utilizes our RAM, so they little bit, they make it slower. So that is why we are crashing out. So what we have to do is there are a few apps like Discord, River Tuner, MSI Afterburner and all these kind of things which drain out a lot of performance. So if you find Discord here, just select the Discord, right click and go for end task. Just do it one by one. Just do it one by one and end the task for Discord. Simultaneously, you have to wait for MSI Afterburner. You have to wait for, uh, you know, uh, LG Hub. You have to work uh, River Tuner and all this. Just uh, remove everything. Once it is done, the overclocking application should be removed, not everything. So just remove our clocking applications and once it is done, just close everything, go back to the Steam and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we have to go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. Now over here, as you can see, here I have already added all the games. So I did not have any crashing issue so far, but sometimes it ended up in crashing, but I fixed somehow. So here you just have to add this. So for adding, just click on browse. Now go to this PC and navigate to the installation folder. So go to program file x86, scroll down to Steam folder. Now go to common, sorry, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, select Limbus. Okay, Limbus company. Now select the application. Now you just have to, sorry, just add it. So once it is added, if you click on the option, you can see that by default, it will be let Windows decide. So that is why we are having the issue. So always change this to high performance. So what happens is when the game is launching, your graphics card is utilizing its maximum. So there will not be any kind of issue. So over here under high performance, you can see the GPU NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 with Max-Q design. So just go for save it. Once you save it, just close everything, go back and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we have to update Windows. For updating the Windows, just go over here, go to settings. Now from here, go to system, scroll down and now, sorry, bottom left windows update. Over here, if you find any update, just download and install. If any KB updates are there, just go for it. So download and install after that, make sure this is up to date. And once it is successfully done, just close everything, go back to the game and try as well. 
Next one is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. For that, we need to for uninstalling the game, just select the game, go for manage. There is an option to uninstall the game, just uninstall the game. So now if you wanted to reinstall him back, keep in mind one thing. So do not install the game to the same local disk where it is uninstalled. So over here in my case, I'm only having local disk C. So even if I uninstall the game and reinstall him back, by default, this will be in this. So that is not going to fix the issue. So always uninstall the game from one disk and try installing it back on another disk. So you should be having multiple disks. And this is what you have to do. Next one is all about we have to increase virtual memory. That is an important step, which is the last step, which I'm going to show you over here. So just go to uh, over here and search for view advanced system setting. Now navigate to advanced, click on settings, go to advanced once again, click on change. Over here under the virtual memory, you should not be selecting this, uncheck this, so that then only you will be able to select the local disk. So select the local disk where the game is installed. So in case it is local C, so that is why you select this. So if the game is installed in T, select local C in your case. So select the local disk where the game is installed. Then go for custom size. Here we have to give the value for initial size as well as maximum size. So we need to know the RAM. For RAM, knowing the RAM, just go to settings. Some people ask in the comment section how to check this. Go to system, scroll down and navigate to above. Over here, as you can see, 32 GB is my RAM. Okay, so this will not be same in your case. It might be different. So do the calculation based on this. So 32 GB is my RAM. So I have to do a calculation. So just go for calculator. So just type your RAM. 32 is my RAM. So I have to type this. So what you have to do is type your RAM, then multiply with 1024. That is a conversion value that brings you 32,768. Now, the initial size is always 1.5 times the total RAM. So multiply this with total RAM. That is 49,152. So I have to paste it. Now I have to move to the next one. That is 32 GB is my RAM. I have to multiply it with 1024. Then I have to multiply it with 3 because maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. That is 98,304. So I have to copy this. Then I have to paste it and I have to go for OK. Then once it is done, just restart. Then try to play the game. And most probably this will be completely fixed. And this is what you have to do when it comes to this. And we hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.